Hey guys, Technodot Games here. With, uh, I'm going to give you a quick setup guide for beginners for project cars. Uh, first things first, we're going to get uh, the some terms out of the way. Uh, loose and tight. So loose is when the back end of the car wants to spin around on you and you have trouble keeping it behind you. I'm going to show you an example well, first of a tight car right now. Tight is when the front end wants to push out. So you can hear on this one the tire squealing. I'm turning the wheel more than what the car is turning and the wheels just slide through. So it makes it a little easier to handle, but it's not as fast usually. Now a loose car is when the back end like this, watch. Here I'll give you an example. Just loops right out on me and makes it hard to control. So that's tight and loose. So the first thing I'm going to show you is carts. The first thing I like to do to a go-kart is lower the rear tire pressure. That makes the, tightens the car up, doesn't want it to spin out of the corner, gives a little less wheel spin as well, more grip when you're on the accelerator. Second thing I like to do is move the brake, down, brake balance forward to about 70% on the front. That way when you're coming into a corner and you're braking hard, the car isn't sliding all over on you. Rear damp force, I don't do too much, but it, it helps with cornering, it gives you a little more grip on the track, um, and in the case of just rear damp force, it'll tighten the car up. Now for longitudinal weight bias, um, the more weight you move to the front, it'll tighten the car up. The more weight you move to the rear, it'll loosen it up, and it works mostly in the center of the corner. Now I'm going to show you steering ratio. In a go-kart, you want to move it all the way to slow if you're using a controller. It makes the car a whole lot less twitchy, way easier to handle. This, is, this will make a huge difference to you if you do this and you're just starting out. Biggest change I made for sure. Um, basically it makes the controller less sensitive more than anything and just makes it a lot easier to handle the car. So I move it all the way to slow in a go-kart. And now we'll talk about caster and camber. So caster angle, if you increase the caster angle, it will increase the stability in a straight line. If you decrease it, it'll increase the turn-in. But at the same time, it'll make it twitchier on a straightaway. And for camber angle, uh, best thing to do is to check the temperature of your tires while you're driving. If the inside of your tire is getting really hot, you want to increase the camber angle to make it uh, lean out a little bit less and then it'll have you want a nice even uh, heat across your tire and that means you're getting the most grip possible in the corners. Now sway bars, sway bars are pretty simple. Uh, if you soften up a sway bar it'll give you a little bit more grip either on the front or the rear depending on depending on which one you uh, move so if your car is too loose and it's spinning out an easy way to help fix that is to soften up the rear sway bar and it'll give the rear a little bit more grip and you won't uh, it'll tighten the car up and you won't spin out nearly as much and now we'll move on to bump stops so bump stops if you increase the height on a bump stop, it'll increase your ride height on a go-kart. So if you're hitting curbs and bottoming out and it's spinning your car, you're on a rough track, you want to increase that and you won't bottom out and you won't spin out uh, hitting curbs or going over bumps uh, on the racetrack. If it's a nice smooth track, you don't need to touch it because it's faster to have a lower uh, ride height because it sticks to the road a little bit better. And now we'll go to gear ratios. So for the final drive, if you move it to the right, it's top speed. So if you're rev if you're hitting the rev limiter on the longest straightaway, like way too early, you're going to want to increase that. And if you're not hitting the rev limiter limiter at all, then go towards acceleration side. And as far as the gears themselves, um, the lower the number there, like see sixth gear is 110, fifth gear is 122 you can change each gear separately and if you lower it it'll be more acceleration now for fuel load you want as little fuel in the car as possible because that'll lighten the car up and it'll make it faster going around the track 
So the best way to do so the best thing to do is check how many laps the race is and then adjust your fuel load accordingly for that. And for qualifying, you're only going to do maybe a 5 lap stint or 6 lap stint, so change your fuel load to only like have 5 laps, which is the bottom number. See the going 11.1L, 8.3L, that's 8.3 laps. So decrease that, you decrease the weight of your car and you'll qualify better, you'll have a lighter car. So that's my beginner guide to setups for project cars. Uh, I hope it helps you and uh, gives you a little bit better experience in uh, racing because uh, the better you can handle your car the more fun you'll have. So have a good one.